Oh my god, you guys, I have pink hair. Isn't this crazy? I can't tell if it looks fake or not. I tried really hard to put it on good, but like it keeps kind of sliding back on my head because I don't actually have like the glue stuff for the wig, but um, my mom actually got this wig for me because she knew that I want pink hair and it'll absolutely ruin my hair if I dye my hair pink, but like this is good enough for now. I kind of like it. I kind of am vibing. But the only reason why I thought of this costume is because I was scrolling on eBay and I saw this really cute accessories and like the matching tail it's just so cute and I'm like oh my god this is like the prettiest bunny costume I've ever seen like I love the pearl details like I just love it so I have to do a bunny look of course and yeah I don't know if you guys have watched my clown video yet if you haven't go watch it but I spoke about how I lost some pieces well I lost this and I thought my dog took it and ruined it because he took the tail the tail's kind of broken but I don't really care but I couldn't find this and like I just think this like makes it to be honest like imagine this without the neck thing it like it just wouldn't it just wouldn't you know so i was really upset i'm like oh my god i can't do this bunny look because i lost it but i found it it was in my skincare drawer i don't know how it must have dropped into it but i was really upset but now i'm feeling great all right so first i'm going to prime with the mac prep and prime by the way i will put all the details of this outfit in the description and the bodysuit is of course from fashion nova i love this satin bodysuit i think it is so cute and it makes your butt look so good i don't know how but it does but yeah i love this kind of pink nude theme bunny look going on like how cute is this how cute is it all right so i'm going to glue my brows down just with normal glue I think that's stuck enough. All right, now I powder, I think. Oh God. So I'm taking the original RCMA powder. Ooh, beautiful. I've been saying beautiful a lot lately. I don't know why. I don't know if I like saying it. So I'll probably stop because I kind of sound like an old mom or something like beautiful. I think for once I'm going to do foundation first. So I'm going to foundation my whole face. <laughs> All right, so I was actually going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation, but I think I'll be using the KVD Vegan Beauty Lock It foundation because it's the most full coverage one that I have and I really need this to be really full coverage. So I'm mixing the shades medium 51 warm and medium 54 neutral. So yeah, I'm just packing this on my face. I don't know if I powdered and everything my brows are not. I literally look like a dead creature and it's really disgusting. Literally like a dead carcass. I'm going to go over and try and glue down my brows again because they're not fully covered and we need them to be. Oh, I got foundation on it. You know, I'm gonna keep these off for now. See, like everything for me just has to be a struggle. Everything, all the time. Like I can't just ever do one thing and have it turn out perfect for the first time. No, that isn't possible for me. It's literally not possible for me. Like, look at these brows. They're not leaving my face. They look so scary and I really hate it. Oh my god, I, I hate this. Recently in my makeup videos, I've just been looking my worst. I've been doing crazy things. I can't look at myself. Like, I, I really can't. Like, imagine me without brows. That's, like, not a nice look. Like, some people can pull it off. Why? Like, I would love to pull off no brows. I look like Gabriel Zamora. <laughs> All right, I'm going to highlight with the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Bisque. I'm really not used to doing foundation first. I look like Santa Claus mixed with a pink elf. If this doesn't turn out good, I'm going to spontaneously combust. Ow, what is that? All right, now I'm going to powder again with the RCMA. I just use my... F I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. I just used my foundation brush. So yeah, I'm basically just going to do my face makeup now, minus the brows. So I'm going to contour, of course, with the Scott Barnes Blush Palette. I really want to, like, move on from my face because, like, I'm sure you guys don't want to experience my bold browness any more than I do. I hate it! It'll turn out good in the end. It will turn out good in the end. It will turn out good in the end. It'll turn out good in the end. <laughs> I'm doing my nose contour very extreme. This will kind of all be covered anyway, so like you don't have to worry. I'm just kind of doing it more extreme just for the sake of it. <sighs> I feel like I'm rushing for no apparent reason. Like I have all the time in the world, but you know, I just love to rush myself. I just love to stress myself out. I'm now blushing with the pinkest pinks and a bit of this mango frizz from the Scott Barnes blush palette. We want a real pink vibe today, ladies and gentlemen. Like the more blush, the better. Blush, blush, blush. All right, I'm gonna highlight already just to get over and done with. So I'm taking these two shades, glowy and showy. 
I am also taking the mini shade and light palette by KVD Vegan Beauty. I love this shade. It's the shade Lyric and I'm reverse contouring. So I'm using this pick for inspiration. I love the makeup idea. I think I'm gonna start with the pink. So I'm taking the Too Faced Eggnog Latte palette and I'm taking the shade Peach Cobbler. What a name. And I'm going to start about here and kind of blend away, I guess. That bird has some nerve, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna slightly take it down the side of my nose, but not too much. All right, so now that I've got the kind of outline, this is very rough, like it's just an outline. I'm just taking the James Charles palette and this peachy nude color, and I'm just packing that all on my lid, like everywhere. Just as long as it's not white, because then you won't be able to like differentiate it from the white. Now I'm going in with a shade showy, and I'm just gonna pack that on top of my entire lid, but I'm not gonna do it too pigmented if you get what I mean, like just for a bit of shine. It's like we're glazing a little cake. What's wrong with me? All right, I'm now taking the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. I'm gonna line my eyes as normal. I'm not going to do a cat wing though, but you want her thick. See, this is what I don't like about doing liner after foundation because it's harder to fix up. They're both different. I don't really care though, to be honest. I'm in a bit of a callous mood. Kind of weird, hey? All right, now time for the white. I have the KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pencil in the shade White Out. So hopefully it can white out all my problems. All right, so first I'm just gonna do my waterline. All right, I'm going to take that and I'm going underneath. Hey, I kind of look like Doja Cat. That's a lie, I do not. Going underneath the wing and then taking that on my lash line. Ooh! Alright, now I'm going to kind of make a crease. This might be the hard part. So I'm going to start it here and bring it up over and then kind of more down to meet the liner. Hi! She looks like a fairy. I would never guess that's you. Show me. It doesn't look like me. It does not look like you at all. I look like a man. Oh. Hey, Charlotte! Hey, darling, you wanna say hello? You sound like an elf. An elf. Oh my God, they're so different. All right, despite the fact that they're two different shapes, I'm going to kind of create some hairs because I am a hair, I'm a bunny. Upward strokes. This bit's hard because it's like not the thinnest pencil. Now I can always go back in and fix it. That's the beauty of makeup. Now I'm going to take where this is joined up here and draw upwards and then here we're gonna start about here so in the middle of my nose and kind of create some lines bringing that up here with my non-existent brows like that all right so now i'm pretty much just gonna like draw in everything like literally just draw 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 it would be a lot better if you had paint but i do not so yeah basically there's this song on tiktok and i cry so hard i can't even explain how hard I cry. It's by Cigarettes After Sex. There's this video on TikTok and every time I see it, I just, I just cry. I can't explain how it makes me feel. It just makes me feel some kind of way. When the beat drops, not the beat drop, but when the music changes, like, it goes to the water and the water just looks like heavenly. I wanna go there and I wanna experience that. I wanna see that. I'm gonna try to start making some hair kind of strokes. Definitely, definitely coming together. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm going back in with this peach cobbler color and packing that in there, like as much as I can without trying to get it on the white. Just trying to get it in all the nooks and crannies. All right, now with this fine liner brush, I'm going to take the white and then now I'm able to go over the white again and kind of really define the points. So now I'm basically gonna color in my whole mouth area with this white. I really should have purchased like a liquid lipstick or something that was white. I feel like it would be a lot more pigmented than this, but it still works. This is very time consuming. Creating some hair. Oh, it's finished. I really finished the whole thing. Oh my God, crap. What do I do? Okay, I have this, which is like five years old. It's the Big Eyes Liner Pencil. It's probably toxic because it's so old. Okay, it's working. I'm such a disappointment to myself. I'm just kind of doing like a shape like this. I literally just have to keep using this white pencil until it does something mildly effective. This doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that good. I'm now taking this packer brush 
and just pack this white on top until it's as white as I desire. If this does not work, I will pass away. Just keep packing. Just keep packing. Just keep packing. Now, tell me why. Tell me why. This really isn't looking good. I tried to mix this white with like setting spray to try and make a paste, but as you can see, like, <laughs> this doesn't want to work. But anyway, I'm going to move on to the nose. All right, so I'm getting this brush and the pink shade Rose mixed with Sweet Cheeks from Scott Barnes blush palette and I'm going to just cover my entire nose with that pink shade right down to the corners and I'm going to try and like define here to make it more heart shaped and then just taking some of this shade of highlight on my finger and putting that on my nose to make it pop all right so now taking my KVD tattoo liquid liner I'm going to create a line here seriously f <laughs> f <laughs> and then making that into a triangle right about here Bring it out. All right, and I'm gonna create some dots for little whisker holes. All right, so remember how I did that white line there? I'm going to line around that to kind of create a second waterline. So like that. And then I'm going to create some kind of false lashes. So kind of just dragging the liner down. Oh, that's actually really cute. Siobhan FaceTimed me before and shared her and she was like so surprised. She's like, oh, because she's never like seen me look like this. I actually look really crazy. I've never seen myself look like this. I'm going to add some false lashes now. I'm taking the Lily Lashes in the style Rome and I'm just going to apply them as usual. I'm also going to be putting on some of the KVD Vegan Beauty Go Big Go Go Home mascara. So I will be back with my lashes on. Okay, I'm back with the lashes on now. I think that added so much to the look. But yeah, like we're almost done. I think I only have to add my ears and my eye contacts. So my eye contacts are from the third eye. Not sponsored, but you can use my code Holton at the checkout. I am using the pink ones in the style screen pink. So they cover your whole eye. <gasps> And yes, I will have to get my mom to help me again because I cannot put them in. And that is a fact. Like, I just can't get them in by myself. So I'll be back with the contacts in. Okay, I kind of look scary. <laughs> I look really creepy. I don't know how I feel. Like, I feel like this is just very extra. It, it's kind of glam. It is very rabbit-like. But yeah, I guess this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's so weird. Like, I don't know. I just feel really weird right now. It's quite intense. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Leah Holton underscore. Love you guys. Bye.